Question number 43, it's about ventricular fibrillation and its treatment. It sounds in this way, successful counter shock for ventricular fibrillation requires. So successful defibrillation or counter shock for VF requires energy levels of 200 or 360 joules EKG monitoring, uh, simultaneous depolarization of all myocardial fibers and synchronized uh, DC countershock or defibrillation uh, prior administration of adrenaline. From the official website you see the following options are true like energy levels of 200 to 360 joules and simultaneous depolarization of all myocardial fibers. Again, for successful uh, countershock of VF. We will go through some theory and later we will get analysis of every of the option. What is the first line treatment or for ventricular fibrillation? As we know, ventricular fibrillation treatment starts with early and effective uh, CVR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation with the application of oxygen and monitor defibrillator placement. That keeps uh, the brain, heart and other vital organs perfused, which is uh, very important in end uh, cardiac arrest. How do you monitor a ventricular fibrillation electrocardiogram? So wires connect the electrodes to a computer which displays the test results. An EKG can show if the heart is beating too fast or too slow. It means a heart rate and if there is ventricular fibrillation, EKG usually shows a heartbeat of about 300 to 400 beats per minute. Defibrillation is a treatment for life-threatening cardiac arrhythmias, specifically uh, V-fib or ventricular fibrillation and non-perfusing ventricular tachycardia. A defibrillator delivers a dose of electric current, often called a counter shock, to the heart. And we're coming back. Uh, we're coming back to the question and options. So successful countershock for ventricular fibrillation requires energy levels of 200 to 360 joules. And you see the algorithm of cardiopulmonary resuscitation in ventricular fibrillation. So evaluate rhythm and uh, if there is no rhythm Identify a rhythm and go to appropriate algorithm. If there is ventricular tachycardia or fibrillation, you have to do defibrillation or defibrillate patient with 120 or 200 joules on a, a biphasic defibrillator, defibrillator or 360 joules on a monophasic defibrillator. So answer one is correct. EKG monitoring is still doubling, as you saw on, and you probably know that on theory that uh, defibrillated have defibrillator have uh, this monitor that checks rhythm, and if the rhythm is shockable, it will deliver deliver the uh, the counter shock. Simultaneous depolarization of all myocardial fibers. Of course, placement of two pads and uh, making of defibrillation. It should be successful and it should depolarize almost all of the my, uh, myocardial fibers or myocytes to make it successful. So this answer is correct. Synchronized DC counter shock uh, synchronized is not necessary in ventricular fibrillation and prior administration of adrenaline so 
after you check our rhythm, uh, rhythm is shockable. You have to defibrillate with 200 or 360 joules, depends on type of defibrillator. Continue cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Check again the rhythm, ventricular tachycardia or fibrillation. You defibrillate again. Uh, cardiopulmonary re resuscitation two minutes and after administration of epinephrine one milligram every three to five minutes. So prior administration to uh, countershock or to defibrillation is not necessary. Thank you.